Alrighty, so I just finished week eight and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do week nine so that this class has all the content you need uh, to finish out the semester. So one thing this time I did differently is that I ended up, instead of requiring you to move through, I've given you ability to move around this week. So if you want to go check out in more detail what I talked about last week with the Project Zero, you can do that and ask here, right? So you could jump right to there. So this week, um, what I want to talk about is just the end of class, the end of the class dates, just so we're all clear, right? So you can see them here, March 4th and then March 6th, but I think it just helps to see them in the calendar. And if you're not using the Canvas calendar, I definitely recommend it. Um, so in this case, you have the items that we'll talk about in a minute, and then you have the Project Zero due on Wednesday night. And again, this is different, so heads up, right? Normally you're used to things due Thursday night during finals week. You need to have submitted it, and you probably know this by now, but I'm actually going to say it, is that by the time I wake up on Thursday, and you might wonder how early, I get up pretty early. So... Um, no work can be submitted into Canvas after I wake up on Thursday morning. So if you're submitting late work, uh, and that's one of the things I talk about on this attendance post here, is just to be clear, you have to do it by noon on the 5th, which is the day before, right? So that's here. So if you're going to do late work, it needs to be in by noon here. But the Project Zero in the last item, the JavaScript um, validation, which I have a video just for that, but these two are when I wake up the next morning, right? So again, I do take late work. It is discounted 25%. Last day to submit that is here. And um, when I wake up in the morning on Thursday the 7th, I'll then remove access to no longer be able to submit any um, work. But I will not post grades in the cam into WebAdvisor, which you don't see them for a little while anyway, but until Friday morning. And now why do I do that? In case there's any question, right? In case there's any question about something. Now again, at that point you can't work on it, but if you just have a question about something, because the thing we don't want as a campus is you walk away with like a question in your mind about, oh, wait a minute, what about this? And especially if you're in that in between one letter grade or another, you submitted something, I for some reason didn't see it or communication between you and I didn't happen. You definitely don't know what, you don't want to wait until this late of a date to have that happen. You could ask me that now, absolutely, at the beginning of this week and really could have been before, but now would be a great time. Okay, so I just wanted to give you the visual on that. So last day to submit work, noon on March 5th. The uh, last two items, the biggest one, the uh, Project Zero, and the JavaScript, which uh, is just inter being short introduction to JavaScript, uh, is going to be due uh, anytime uh, before I wake up the next morning. But again, I wouldn't wait. The benefit of working ahead on Project Zero is what I've already been kind of pounding away at, is the sooner you submit it, right, the sooner I can give you feedback and you could resubmit it. So if you're waiting until that due date, it's not going to give you any time to really get the feedback. So work ahead as much as possible. Okay, so I said that here. Um, now, uh, the one thing I do like to start with on the final item is like, thank you, right? You had choices about which courses that you could take. And I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you taking the time and giving this course the effort. I just uh, appreciate getting to know many of you, which I have through this course. Um, thank you. I, without you, I wouldn't have a job. And for that, I really take the responsibility that I feel vested seriously and I hope you felt that through the semester. Okay, here's the work we have. 
So for your lecture item, you only have one video, it's this one, right? So you're going to watch two videos, you're going to create a folder uh, called job, and then they're called uh, create a readme file, watch this one. So give it a heading, how to get your first software development job, and then uh, resume mistakes. So use those as major headings, and then do, uh, like before, your bullets to outline uh, those topics. I actually did post a newer video out on, on Discord um, regarding this topic, but I felt this one was still really good, so I kept it. And so for your hands-on is I basically let you work on your Project Zero, right? Um, just continue to work on it, right? As we get closer to the end of the semester, hopefully you're making some good progress. You should be very close. So at this point, right, um, if you're doing a site, an existing business have content, right? So what are your content strategies, right? So where are you going to get content? Because that's the one thing. At this point, you could use ChatGPT to generate some content. You could go out and copy and paste. It's really only that index file that you need original content for, right? So, but each page needs 75 words. So you need to find that content somewhere. Uh, either generate it, generative AI, uh, go find it somewhere, maybe because it's an existing site, you have it. So give us your strategies. How are you going to uh, get content for your pages, right, uh, for the site, right? So then give us a link to your site uh, and write an uh, update on your progress. No replies needed for the hands-on. Okay, so now for our discussion this week, our last uh, discussion will be machine learning. Uh, machine learning was really what gave us the generative AI chat GPT environment that we have today. This is a rather long video. You don't have to watch the whole thing. As a matter of fact, you could start right here at eight minutes right and watch at least the intro like there's some a really good intro to machine learning that's that first segment in there uh, so get an idea of what machine learning is and then go do some ad additional research right and in your reply tell us your thoughts on machine learning because having an understanding at least what is machine learning right how is it done what are you know because today we i mean most everyone knows about the tools that exist for AI, but most people don't understand how we got here. Like I taught machine learning about four years ago and it was really fun, but it was very different than the machine learning we have today. So having a basic understanding here is a really good idea because it'll help you as you navigate the world that we are all going to live in. Okay, so that's your current topics. You do have replies there. So uh, there's a video just for form validation. Here's what I would say about this. You can you have two options here. You can either create a for, use your form that came with your template, and by the way, or create a for a page that has form on there. If you do create a new page, you do need to use the design of your s template site. The other option is you can just take a few notes. I give you that option as well. Okay, and then of course your project zero is there. So that's it for me. Um, what I said here in the reply, like if there's any feedback you feel comfortable giving me here, cool. There's other places like write your professor, you could do that as well out there, right? I always appreciate because I'm constantly trying to figure out how to make my courses better. Um, I, know I probably don't always hit the mark, but I do want you to know it isn't my intention to make uh, my courses better. I hope this video has helped you understand the end of the semester. I hope if you have any questions, you will ask them here. And I look forward to, I think some of you may be in my CIT 85 class, so I look forward to seeing you there. All right, have a good one.